Rhode Island lawmakers are continuing their push for stricter DUI laws. Thanks for joining us at 530. I'm Kayla Fish and I'm Kim Kaluni and nearly 1000 drivers were arrested for operating their cars while intoxicated this year, a 26% increase from 2022. 12 News reporter Kristen Burnell joins us now live in studio with more Kristen. Kim and Kayla, I spoke with one of the senators who is advocating for stricter DUI laws in the new year. He gave a breakdown of what they are pushing for when the state's General Assembly reconvenes next week. A spike in DUI arrests this year has Rhode Island legislators calling for stricter laws in the ocean state. We're one of the worst states in the country when it comes to DUI. So what we want to do is we want to make it tougher for people to understand that you don't drink and drive. According to the Rhode Island Department of Transportation, an average of 3,000 drivers are arrested for driving under the influence every year. Senator Lou Raptakis tells 12 News several bills are being introduced to the Senate in 2024 after some were passed through the House in 2023. The House last year passed two important bills to look back and enhancing penalties under the Attorney General's office. And we have to follow suit in the Senate. We will follow suit in the Senate. The new look back bill is hoping to change the amount of time a DUI conviction would stay on a person's record. Rhode Island has one of the worst records when it comes to look back. That means looking back at somebody's record past five years. We're at the bottom of the barrel. Most states have 10 year look back, lifetime look back. Another proposed piece of legislation, the enhancement of penalties for someone who injures or kills someone due to impaired driving. The average jail time for somebody that commits a DUI death resulting is probably around 7 to 15 years. That's absolutely ridiculous when somebody takes somebody's life. And he says another serious issue that the state of Rhode Island is seeing is an uptick of operating under the influence of marijuana since it was legalized last year. This will also be discussed in the next state legislative session, session which will begin Tuesday, January 2nd. Reporting live in studio, Kristen Burnell, 12 News.